Hey guys, Professor Prime here with MindYourPlanet.com and today we're taking a look at an X-Men, the animated series figure. We are taking a look at Rogue Famoto. I have never purchased from this company before, or this brand I should say. It's a brand of high quality collectible figures that are hyper, they're not like, they're like the in-between of like a hot toy and like a stat, they're like statues, but with articulation. So you're gonna have, as you can see in front of you on the screen here, if if you're if you're watching you can see that this figure of rogue has the articulation and look as if it was a standard marvel legends figure now this is a six inch scale figure so it's quite large it is tailored after the x-men the animated series not x-men the 97 series that's a completely different different thing as of right now you can currently pre-order her on slideshow and you can also go to the official website for the figure as well well professor prime why did you re why did you pre-order one of these well for one it's rogue rogue from the animated series is extremely hot if anybody remembers you know the famous shot against apocalypse ha 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 well i do have a display that i'm building of rogue and one of the things that i do in my collection is i instead of having like a shelf that's like all a bunch of random stuff which i do have those shelves but i have a lot of shelves that are character focused like i have a rogue one that i'm working on so i have a couple i have a couple figures of rogue so i figured she would be a very nice addition now she is 210 dollars and for some people that might be really expensive the estimated shipping time is between june and august so i opted to go with the payment plan uh one thing i like about a slideshow is that you don't have to pay for things right up front and what's nice is that they will offer you like you pay like a deposit and then like usually like then the following month you pay like you know three or four installments until you pay the figure off and there's no extra cost to doing this. this is what i really love about slideshow is they don't charge you an additional fee by doing the payment plan now they do say that it, you have to put out a non-refundable deposit and for this particular character i put down it was a 21 dollars deposit and so you can see right here it says interest free it's like a layaway option basically for 63 dollars a month so i'm basically putting 63 pay 63 dollars a month until it's paid off so like four payments what's good about that is that even though like well here's the thing a little short story here i did pre-order the three zero voltron last year i did a video about it and all that stuff like that and unfortunately it got delayed multiple times and at the at the time i had some other figures that were coming in and i had to pay for and i already basically paid for the voltron and i was like well is it coming everybody else seems to get it but slideshow i just kept getting delayed now i know that wasn't on slideshow i know that was the whoever distributing that figure to slideshow and so it wasn't just like me like nobody got their figure on slideshow for a very long time if, if anybody did if you purchased the three zero voltron from slideshow let me know in the comments down below if you pre-ordered it and it showed up and you eventually got it i eventually contacted them and said hey listen this figure is not I, I i thought this figure was coming it's been like two months now um can i get a refund i decided just to get a refund and i expected to just like you know get all my payments back minus the deposit they actually gave me my deposit back which is really cool of them and that was a completely awesome thing for them to do let's dive right back into rogue here i got a little sidetracked there but so let's take a look at the figure here uh, she stands at 11.75 inches in height she's a 1.6 scale figure comes complete with a uh, swappable hands and a different uh head sculpt now there was a limited edition pre-order of this figure that came with a second head sculpt that i think had a little different hairstyle and the uh, eyes actually had the optic blast from like when she she took cyclops's powers it also came with a set like shield kind of like a face plate that was like smashed up that she could kind of stand on and it also came with the head sculpt from rogue the animated series from x-men evolution so i thought that was interesting because i don't think i ever i kind of watched x-men evolution a little bit i don't actually recall rogue because they kind of had rogue as like the emo girl in high school i think that's what the show was like you know it was like high school kind of thing and i don't remember if she ever wore the green and yellow jumpsuit i think she did wear the jacket at one point but i don't think she ever wore the onesie or anything like that so so yeah it's it's a very very good head like like it looks fantastic so it's got the the you know it's got the you know the standard like you know the red lips the southern like lips and i was talking to a buddy of mine and he said he wasn't gonna buy it because he said that the breasts weren't big enough and i said to myself if you're buying a figure for a girl's breasts like first of all like what the hell and second of all you're buying the wrong figure they make figures for that kind of stuff so this is if you want a rogue figure that's got like massive knockers uh check out 
about Etsy or, or, or AliExpress because they have tons of them on there. Not that I've looked or anything like that. Don't judge me. But anyways, like she's got, and then she's got like that, that fears. She's got like, I don't know what this is, like a piece of like, you know, Sentinel technology that she's crushing. Uh, she's got, uh, oh, there's 60 more photos. Here we go. Here's the photo gallery. Uh, let's take a look here. So here's, here's what you're going to get for $210. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. And then we're showing like the scale. So she's, she's pretty big figure. Uh, it's a little diorama, you know, and then this is the arm with like the, like her powers activating. And then here she is with some of the other ones that they have released, like Sabretooth. And then there's Jubilee. You've got one where she's fighting Omega Red. And there's like a close up of, of her crushing, like whatever part that is. And then here she is with all the figures that have been released so far. Not sure why we did this. Like I'm assuming it's emphasizing the belt, but yeah, come on guys. Uh, then here's another shot of her. That's a, that's a pretty cool shot. Then like, I like this one because this hand's got like the glove like she took off her glove to like grab somebody to, to steal their powers and then there's there's that shot don't the coat does not come off so this is a this is a standard action figure she comes with a lot of different hand accessories which i really love she's got open hands she's got fish she's got like kind of gripping hands she's got the crush hand kind of hot side open hand and then she's got like another hand open and then she's got like the like she's got two two open palm uh, ungloved palms i think these are opposite hands so you can have them opposite each other but i kind of wish they had uh two hands like this that were just not gloves so it looks like it looks like for articulation i'm gonna assume that she's gonna have probably some difficulty with her head just depends on what kind of ball joint her head's on given like how brushy her hair is and it's solid it's not like brush or anything like that so i'm assuming her hair is gonna be just difficult to like get in the way the coat is obviously it's attached it's not gonna come off hands are swappable so she's gonna have elbow joints it looks like you're single uh she's gonna have a uh, chest well her waist movement is gonna be at the chest line which is usually how they do the figures nowadays they usually don't actually do the waist at the waist anymore especially when it comes to these kind of action figures uh it looks like she's gonna have hip rotation probably all the way around she's gonna probably have the standard like you know like full monty the splits it looks like she's double jointed knees so she'll get the full range of motion the feet looks like she has like front and back movement and she might have and it doesn't look like she has some side to side uh ankle tiltage going on and she might have double jointed arm uh elbows too it's hard to tell from these shots they all again it, it's a 90 degree angle on the elbow bend so i don't think and then her head's kind of tilted too but the one thing i've noticed from every single shot is her head now see right there her head's looking downwards and you can see like the twist in the in the in the chest region for the for the tilt and then there's like yeah you can see there's a double jointed el elbows no sorry no, i said elbows no uh knees and double jointed knees I think she just had 90 degree bend on the elbows and she's probably gonna have forward and backward tilt with the uh, with the chest be able to bend forward, probably tilt backwards. I think it's an amazing figure. It's gonna look great on my shelf. I do have the release of the 97 Rogue uh, Marvel Legend figure that came out last year. I did get that. I do have a statue of Rogue, which is I think Rogue, but she's wearing the green, the the light green and black jumpsuit. And then I also have a couple other like Rogue figures that I have. I'm kind of eyeing out to kind of finish my little little diorama display of rogue and then it's it's an exciting figure guys it looks great and additional details uh it is made out of uh abc and pvc and it weighs about 23 kilograms or five pounds which is kind of heavy honestly and then there's a SKU number the vendor number the upc if you're interested in that then you got it's six per person so you can buy six of them and what do you get in the box so you get the you get one neutral pro portrayal one angry portrayal you get four pairs of interchangeable hands which is pretty cool one destroyed blaster right hand one energy absorption left hand one glove and ungloved hand and you get one standard background base so she comes with a base so that's and i don't know if it's a base where it's like plugs into base or is it a like a stand base it doesn't actually say but uh yeah guys it's it's a super cool figure you can pre-order it right now on slideshow and I'll be definitely taking a look at this figure when I when she shows up, probably this fall, because it's August. And I mean, I think this will be paid off by like, uh, let's see, probably July. I'll have it paid off. And I can always and I can always make extra payments too. That's like not a big deal. But yeah, guys, this has been an episode of Prime Talk. Today we looked at Rogue from Moto, a six-inch stale figure. If you enjoyed watching this video, check out this video right here in the corner. And as always, guys, until next time.